It was so beautiful. Hi there, thank you so much for clicking this video. So today I'm in Chelsea waiting for my girls because we're going to take pictures. Guys, I've done this like Exlo London thing where I just go to lovely neighborhoods and show you the best places for your photos. So Chelsea was one of the first places I'd done. That's how I literally spent my the first COVID lockdown. That's how I said once you could come out, I started doing that. So I already have content for it, but now I'm actually going out, like I'm actually using the content to take my girls out to make pictures. And I thought to kind of mix both of them together and then make a video just in case anyone is ever going to come to Chelsea in London and want to know where exactly to go to make the best pictures and the best videos, reels, Instagram, TikTok, every single thing. Hi darling, good morning, welcome to my channel. So my name is Stephanie, I'm a London based content creator. Today I am taking you around Chelsea. So I'm meeting up with a friend of mine, Somi, at King's Cross Station. She's already here, so I'm just trying to find her. You grab your drinks, bring your notepads to take notes. So we're walking through about 15 streets that are Instagram worthy and stuff to enhance your Chelsea experience. Yeah, so come along and let's go. Let's go meet Somi. I'll put my lipstick on and we'll take on the day. Oh, yeah, see how with the mask. <laughs> Cutie. How oh, now? I'm fine. Mm, lovely to see you. <laughs> so there are some installations that you know are seasonal, so they come every season depending on what the season is, and then there are some that you know just come at any point and it changes and stuff so some things you see today you might not see in another season or whenever you're ready but there'll be something cute there and then obviously we're going to also go to some streets which will always be there forever so yeah you just a beautiful uh, backdrops and stuff so yeah that's basically it right now um the first to come the underground is really messing up so that's why people are running late and stuff because this is the time we're supposed to come between our termination so i told them 7 50 a.m or 8 a.m yes that's how early we do it because it's just best you know when you're doing things really early what am i wearing okay so i'm wearing this bomber jacket it's a zara one it's going to be one of my hauls and tight and i'm wearing this this is her pocket but today i'm not wearing them and yeah i have got my bag so hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time i post Before we get into the business of the day, I want to share with you the guide which is already on the blog post. So on the blog post, there's a guide of these 15 streets with postcodes. There's also a direct link which once you post on your Google Maps, you're able to take this guide easily. So Somi and I are both wearing a Nigerian brand called Becca Apparel. I'm also carrying a hat bag from Amina London, both black owned, both Nigerian. So the first thing is meeting at Sloan Square. You start your walk from here, from the tube station, just exit the station. And then you, you can see a lot of beautiful shopping. Just take it all in. Next is Draco Place. If you want to get a vibe of brick houses, you can take your pictures or products or even just the streets over here. Next street is Colson Street. Colson Street is full of pretty houses tucked away with shops to admire. At the end of Colson Street on the left, you'll see Anderson Street. And on the right, you'll see Kings Road. So Anderson Street is another one. You just walk down on Anderson Street, get to Bywater Street. Bywater Street is one of the most expensive streets in Chelsea, guys. So on Bywater Street, it has some of the prettiest houses in Chelsea as well. Make sure you bring your camera out once you get here because all the colors are just so beautiful. Admire it all and then you turn right into Godfrey Street. So Godfrey Street, um, you'll see lovely rainbow colored houses. Just take your pick, whatever backdrop you want, get on it. Next is Kill Street. Once you get to Kill Street, you see a small square to your right. You can explore it for a bit or con or, and then just continue your walk. There was also a market. I think it's a Sunday market, to be honest. And it was right behind the Duke of York building. There's also this field where people stayed um, socially distanced on the grass. Another left on Astell, and then you get into Britain Street. Over here, there's pretty brick houses as well. Once you turn your right on Britain Street, you get to um, St. Luke's Gardens. You can just enjoy the gardens. The Ivy Chelsea is one beautiful restaurant that has lovely installations all season-wide. Grab pictures there as well. Next is Glebe Place. Once you get on King's Road, turn right and you get to Glebe. This is another beautiful one. Sheen Walk, oh my gosh, 50 Chain is lovely, lovely, lovely. It has this beautiful building. It's 
blue so just contrast your outfits or even just match <laughs> match it right around the corner of 50 shane is color house if you want that natural greenery backdrop that's your spot i also saw a classic car which made me take some dope pictures chelsea psychic garden is also around the corner but i couldn't get in because it was shot if you're around this area you should definitely stop there because the pictures i got through the fence were beautiful is that planting or banana by the way <laughs> next is um swan walk because swan walk is not really a neighborhood it's basically like the road close to the albert bridge you can also get on albert bridge to get a vibe of whatever you want to do next is on monday gates this also has um the brick kind of buildings enjoy that as well then if you're a clean a white person smith street is definitely your take so go on smith street and enjoy all the vibes there with the white walls and then the top has different colors they offer colorful doors Congratulations as you have come to the end of your Chelsea Walk Tour by Metro Gypsy. For your Instagram pictures, please use the hashtag MGLDNWalk so I can track all your photos. We've ended this walk at Duke of York Square. This installation is what we have for summer. It changes up as the season goes. Sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the video where the girls and I take our pictures at our top six locations from the list you have just seen.
guys so we're totally done for the day how did you enjoy today it was amazing i love chelsea my goodness it was so beautiful yeah but what would you say about like most of the pictures we took with the buildings and stuff um they, they were quite beautiful very aesthetically pleasing if, yeah. I, if i say so but yeah i loved it I yeah and i'll think i'll say yeah, you guys should visit. Follow the guide on the blog post and in the description box of this video. Yes. Like I said, there were so many doors. Like you guys, you saw so many colorful doors. So you think many. you think you are not in here? <laughs> Just kept taking doors and doors and doors, and then some popular houses as well. I remember we saw. Can you remember any of the? Um, yeah, of the some. Um, yeah, the sculpture, and then there was the tap carrying the. I don't know, it was a studio though. Studio, yeah, yeah there was some Tyler yeah, studio, guys. something studio, yeah. And, and then was some a very, famous very popular person. actresses as in well. In the beginning, yeah, yeah. At the beginning, there was the first really popular actress. Well, I showed you everything. Just make sure you follow the guide, hold your Google Maps, your power bank if you're going on this tour because sometimes the direction somewhere could be one minute or five minutes, you never know. So it's will tell you the next left, but it might be the, the next left, you know, really yeah. exactly. So make sure you get your Google Maps. I'll just give you a list of places that you must visit and just decide where you go there. Take it in, take it all in and decide where you want to photograph yourself, your product, or even just the structures themselves. Thank you so much for coming on this ride with us. Um, Thank you. Last word. Subscribe. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> get to the blog post. Like Thumbs this. up. Like this video. Yeah, share as well. Yeah, make sure you share with your friends. Whenever they come visit and you want to explore Chelsea, this is the guide to you. I'm sure you guys are wondering where this hair came from. Well, the yeah, appear yeah. Chelsea magic. <laughs> <laughs> Forget to click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time I post. Every See you time on the we next post. Every time we post. See you on the next episode. Bye. 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 This is a woman. The warrior. Mm. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> Yes, guys! <laughs> this is Amina! <laughs> I'm Zaria! <laughs> Guess what? I forgot to show you everywhere. Like, I forgot to bring out the camera, but obviously, I was taking pictures and making videos. So, it's the end of the day. I'm about to say bye. No way, I'm not going to show you. Oh, yeah, I'll go, go. Say bye. Christina is, Christine is running. Not She's sure. running. She's <laughs> Camera shy, she thinks how we do. I don't even know. The wig is cute. She's not shy when she's she's doing the pictures. Yeah, but I'm going to share pictures from everybody. Demi has already gone. Sorry for that. And I had to take off my earrings because they were hurting. So yeah, that's it. So make sure you plan your trip, photo session trip to Chelsea in London. It's just a bomb, guys. Across me is Albert Bridge. So yeah, that's Albert Bridge right there. It's really beautiful at night. You can also come at night to take the pictures. And then this is the red. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye. Wow. These Christine shoes. That's the only thing she's going to show you today. <laughs>